Okay. Let's let's beat the fucking devil, man. Uh, Satan. <sighs> oh, oh, oh! It's you, uh, mm... Milo. Ah, uh, Milo. Yes, that's that's your moniker. Thank you. Uh, but the party's mostly uh, winding down, but I think there's some booze spilled in various ashtrays throughout. If you're so inclined, uh, no judgment. Look, we got the team, okay? You said it was a team sport, so we, we got one. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I think you're mistaken. Mistaken about what? I said you had to get friends. You need friends to have a drinking contest, a true drinking contest. I... Thought that's what you wanted to do, correct? We have. We brought our friends. No, those aren't your friends. Sam Hill, and your own personal demon. What, did you look up how to do this on Game Facts? Huh? These aren't your friends, okay? Do you really think they'll be there for you when the chips are down? Yes, they are. We're, we're all good. The fact of the matter, kids. There's no such thing as friends. <laughs> In hell or anywhere else. Polly, if you came for the ball drop, we only do that on New Year's. Judge Apollyon, what a fucking surprise. I take it by your tone, you don't actually consider this a surprise? No! I've known for some time that you and a town's worth of extras were planning something. So what is this? Sula deposing Marius? The Fessonian conspiracy? Hm. Treachery is a sin, dear sister. Maybe the greatest of sins. But hey, you want to run hell in the shadow of Beelzebub? Fine. My guy. Uh, like I give a shit. Roberto? I am here, yes. Roberto, what the hell is going on? Okay, yeah. I knew this little stereotype was someone important to you. What is this? The plot of prophecy? Is... Are you like the best thumb wrestler in the universe? Well, okay, fine. Get it over with, little man. Take your best shot. How should we start? Uh, Miss Apollyon, I can begin. We should all begin by telling Lucifer here how much he is loved and appreciated and cared for. No, we just oh, you we totally love you, guy. Uh, what, 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 what's what happening? Is happening? It's an intervention. What the fuck are you? Now, Miss Polly, why don't you speak first? It's an intervention. We're supposed to, um... We're supposed to go over our memories, say what we remember, tell us how you've made us all. It's an intervention for not Satan. To be judgmental, we're giving, we're giving not Satan an intervention. Confrontational. And it's if Jeff on Bondren showed this up, hard, this would be the best here, fucking um, game ever made. I it would be. And if you know what I'm talking yeah, about, remember, you're the best person ever. I remember playing tag with you across the Hadean. I remember unicellular life popping like popcorn. You and I watching it. Uh, uh, Polyon. This is your fucking intervention, Morningstar, and you're gonna listen to every single thing we have to say. Wait, 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 what? This is an intervention? You're... <laughs> oh, shit. My man. Oh, but shit, does this... Should we, like, should we not be here for this? Are you kidding me? Luke is fine. We party, so what? I'll explain in a bit. Morning Star. Hell can be... It can be a place for reflection, for rehabilitation, for, for skepticism, for study. But you've turned your back on everyone and everything. It's, it's not fair to, to Beelzebub. No. Or, or Sam. Hiya. Or me. Or your brothers and sisters, Luke. We care Milo, about you. Lola, I think we have a drinking contest to start. Lucifer, this is... This is serious. Oh, is it? Um, really? Because I, I have to say, maybe this doesn't seem uh, appropriate anymore. You want to know who Roberto is, Lucifer? He's the leading interventionist expert, and we thought... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, just kids, my fire. here's how we do this. Morning it's star. It's a drinking game with two rounds. Round one is beer pong, your team against mine. Lucifer, Shit. stop acting like a child. Hey, beer pong! <laughs> uh, should we should we really be doing this right now? No, we shouldn't. And yet we are. So get ready for beer pong, everyone. Beirut, the sport of philosophers and kings. Follow me, alright? And quickly, thus we continue getting interrupted. Come on, Luke. Good morning, Star. You know how many people have come up to me to say that they're worried about you? It's been a lot. A, a big number. And look, I even had my doubts this would work, okay? We haven't exactly been celebrating Christmases together, you know, but... 
He's not listening to you, lady. Understand that? Can you understand that this is about Milo and Lola? So shut up. Well, somebody here got out of the wrong side of the, the, uh, what's the saying? Fridge? Is a refrigerator involved? It's a refrigerator, yeah. Wait, I, I think I could be of some assistance here. No, Mary, you... Luke, you're a very nervous fellow, right? He's not listening to you, freak. So shut the hell up. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Okay, here's how we do this. Morning Star, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you hear what we're trying to say to you? That you have a problem, that, that, that hell is crumbling because of it. Two teams. Two teams, yours and mine. We play. <laughs> teams take talking. turns. Or not you no cheating, listen. no cuts. Winner takes all. Just like love and war. Easy enough? Father Chocoblock? Pick a drink. I opened up the house barrel, so the selection is wide and varied. Okay. Hey, good to see you again. Want something else? Jeffrey Bomber. Fucking got it. Witty asshole. Anna. Here. Flirty flues. Pirate captain. Fuck killer. All prison boy. Okay. I feel like lovable lush is where we're going. Uh, Jeffrey Bomber one. Good pick. It's sort of my specialty. Let's get lovely with it. Okay, go up to your side when ready. Basically, Zach, there's the show called Intervention, where they show people who are addicted to something, and then towards the end of the episode, they have the intervention. And one of the intervention lists is a guy named Jeff Von Vondren. And he's my favorite because he says, like, the same three things in every episode. Um, God, I, I wish I remembered him. I haven't watched in a while. But he says, um, you got a whole bunch of people here that just love the heck out of you. They're going to say what you want to You're They're going to say what they want to say. You get to say what you want to say, and then we're done. He also said, we've tried your way, and your way ain't working. And then um, I think he also says, uh, oh, he said something else. He said something else that's awesome. The crucifixion was a conspiracy. <laughs> Fuck. Is it? He said one other thing that, that always made me happy. They're gonna say what they wanna say, you get to say what you wanna say, and we're done. Everybody, we got a bunch of people here who just love the heck out of you. We've been doing it your way, your way ain't working. And then I think there was one more. Fuck, I can't remember it. But Jeff on Bonder was the fucking best. Come on, Lola, you can do it. Look how short Lola is compared to Satan. This is, like, not even fair. Fuck. Damn it. He's just gonna nail it. I know it's higher. Ah. <sighs> Would have been embarrassing if I missed, right? You know, kids, I'd uh, I'd play for your honor and everything, but Luke is my brother, and I feel like I should set a proper example as well as I can, anyway. I guess if you really don't want to, or think it'll hurt Lucifer. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chad. Why are they going? What the fuck? What nice the fuck? One, you goddamn waste of celestial space. Open your eyes. Shut up, Turnabog. Relax, guys. It's only a game. Come on, buddy. You can make it. Boom! Number one. Number one. Got it. Boom, suck it. Asshole, open your eyes. Oh, I'm trying. 
Oh. Can you just stop yelling at each other, please? <laughs> awesome. I'm up. Ooh, I feel like I should be pretty good at this by now. What the fuck are you? <laughs> what? Well, I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn. Hey, I am sure you. Yes! <laughs> Boom! Boom! Wormwood coming in clutch! Fuck off, fuck off. Fuck Chad. That's right, Dear Chad. Lucifer, Look at that. Humans really aren't worth the bones they're printed on. Oh, like you're doing much better. Thank you, Zach. I'm feeling it. You're feeling the rhythm, feeling out. the rhyme. Come on, Lola, you can do it. Okay. With a bounce! With a bounce! That's technically two, bitch. Drink up. I mean, I should get these in. Yeah, just Drink. skip my turn, okay? I don't, I don't really feel good about playing beer pong against my alcoholic mother. Okay, fine. Do... Do what you think is right. <laughs> Fuck you, Chad. Why are you even on the team, you fucking useless moron? Me? Why are you? You're... You're, you're Chad. What are you even doing here? Chernobog? Come on, buddy, you can make it. Okay, all right. Stop it. It's supposed to be fun. Sister. Hey, just have ah, fun. It's fine. Who cares? It's a game, people. Boom. Boom, Chad. Drink it, bitch. Where are you going? Ugh, I can't believe we wasted a spot on this chode. Hey, I'm, I'm trying, okay? Yeah, I'm okay, glad I got Hey, Morgan, we get it. God, I love this game. Christ, get him up. I'm fucking fine, okay? Jesus, Joseph, it's a fucking party. Relax. We're all just having a good time, okay? This isn't a good time. Hey, man, are are you okay? Of course, I'm, uh, I'm fine. I'm calling it, okay? This is a straight edge party now. You're all teetotalers. This isn't your party to control, Polly. You don't even know where you are right now, Morningstar. I certainly hope you're joking, Apollyon. It's a bit of a character flaw of mine. I can't accept disrespect. Not in my own house. I follow our father in that regard. Am I kidding hmm. with you? No. Take a step back. Now. Okay, everybody. Let's just, let's take it easy. Ugh. Luke. Fuck it. I don't even give a shit, okay? Milo and Lola won the first round. Morningstar, just stop. They're gonna... They're gonna make it. They're gonna do what I... What I never could. Get out from under the cosmic plan someone else made for you. Will you stop enabling him? Stop playing his stupid games. This is bigger than just the two of you. Oh, uh, shit. Sorry, this, this is just hard to parse right now. Yeah, what's the... What's really that bad if, if the devil gets loaded every night? It's not just... Mm. You have to understand. Morningstar needs treatment, okay? He's in hell. Everything he does is connected to everyone he watches after and everyone that watches after him. Now end it. All right, shit. On to round two. Round two. Good old-fashioned drink-off. Brother. Morningstar, that's it. We're, we're, we're done. You're gonna sit down and listen to us and, and and hear us. Hear you? You want me to hear you? Is that what you said? To be weak is to be miserable. To do aught good never be our task, but ever do ill our soul delight. And now, 
You want me to sit down and listen to all the ways I've disappointed you? Well, I'm not going to do it. Hell is without its leader, Lucifer. There are souls out there that need your wisdom. Clear-minded wisdom. wisdom. Shit, there are souls in here that need it. Your family needs it. Your family wants you back. There's nothing to come back to. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we should just go. go. Yeah, this uh, seems, I don't know, a little, <laughs> a little personal. The drink-off is happening with my real friends, okay? Right, Chernobog? Uh... Right, Chernobog? Polly, I mean, she's like, she's like my aunt Luke, and... Oh, fucking hell, are you just cause she babysat you when you were <laughs> shot out of Tartarus? Morning, Star. We are finishing the challenge. Milo, Lola, which one is taking point? This really isn't necessary, Luke. Shut up, Bezel. Uh, me, I guess? Satan, just, just can't you fuck? Beelzebub, can you just yes, like... Yes, this has really gone far enough. The games are over. You need help, and we're here to help you. Milo, let's... No, Milo, Lola, go home. You've done enough. Those are my guests, Bezel. You don't have the capacity to make decisions right now. You cannot run away from Nick anymore, Luke. Morningstar, come on, sit down before you have another fall. <sighs> you guys are being so fucking lame right now. <laughs> and you know what? I don't think I want to look at you anymore. Luke... Oh shit. Oh shit. Ooh, what assholes, am I right? Oh, don't worry, they can't. <laughs> Follow us here to the abyss, the unworld. The unworld. Nature's womb between heaven, hell, and your material, uh, material plane. Unless God wants to fart some more unicorns into existence, then it's his damn workshop. What, what, why'd you bring us? Wouldn't you rather be, like, alone right no, now? No, no. I'm, uh, we should finish the game. Definitely. Let me know when you're ready. I kind of like the idea that we can merge this mythology with the Darksiders mythology. So it's come down to this moment. You've come quite a long way. Helping fellow with the interloper. Polly's ridiculous trial. Asmodeus and the dance competition. You really bloomed into people I would be honored to let return to their world. And to their future. So, are you yeah. ready? You've certainly there had a practice. Yeah, I'm not playing against you, Morningstar. It won't, it won't be good for anybody. It won't be good for... It'll be good for you. Polly or Dog Fornius, the rest, they don't know me anymore. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so, I'm starting the game now. All right? Do you understand? Oh shit, I can't win this game. If I keep it. going, you'll fall too far behind and won't be able to catch up. Satan, I'm not joking. You seriously, for real, need help. I need help? <laughs> You're gonna need help if you don't put down a glass. I'm gonna try and I'm just gonna try and do the Look, this isn't a joke, Pilgrim. This isn't some trick or moral quandary you're going to massage your way out of. There is only the game. And whether or not you want to win. So I would put down a glass and start playing while you still can. Your friends down there, they wanna help you. They're scared that they're scared. Scared of what? That I'm gonna drink myself to death? You wanna know why you're in hell? Really? Truly? You're dogmatic. You follow rules without principle. Yield not one inch to all the forces which conspire to make you an echo. You turned in Greg to Fella when you could have let him go. As you turned in your lives, as you are trying to turn this into something it's not. You don't want to help me. You want to beat this silly piece of entertaining drivel some secret way. Well, there is no secret way. So pick up your glass and drink with me. Why we're here doesn't matter right now, Luke. 
Okay, I know that you think that I'm going to learn some lesson here. I'm just gonna get a game it's over. It's painfully fun. obvious that you're trying to do the right thing, but I'm here to tell you, so I don't want to hear any fucking whining after, because I warned you repeatedly that all that's going to happen unless you start playing is I will win and you will lose. You'll be here forever and nothing good will have come of it. So you should really consider. I'm, I'm not drinking with you, okay? It's it's not gonna happen, no matter how much you may want it to. Or, or, or need it to. You don't need to do this to pretend you're happy, that everything's all right. Uh, take it from me, you really don't. <sighs> you know you come into the light thinking I'm pretty special. And then you get a little older and people tell you, actually, you're not that special. And you believe it. You get older still, and now your banner says, What I do defines me, my charity, my wicked acts. And then you get older still, and you realize it's been luck that's determined your entire life. Were you born impoverished, or rich, or ill? Did you die as a child? Did your mother love you? And then you realize all life is driven by it. A half second too slow, oxygen never bombs, a half minute too fast, a, a planet doesn't emerge. Everything that is, is here by an infinite number of fortuitous accidents and lucky breaks. And in the yawn of all that, you think finally, conclusively, fuck, I am pretty special. That's my dad's loop of self-determination no living soul can ever escape. And believe me, I've tried. But so I'm giving you something like he never cups, could. It's all cups and beers. A gift and... of achievement. You can accomplish something here. Sitting in that chair, playing this game. You can feel like you've beaten a god. Some people go their whole lives without that feeling. And I wouldn't squander it if I were you. So put down your fucking glass! I think we're done. Self-annihilation is... that is. Suicide is a sin against God and nature. You're the goddamn heroes of this story, you ungrateful little... You don't want to win? Is that it? You think you can teach me about victory? About loss? You think you can teach an angel anything? Uh oh. I think it just froze. Um. um. Don't leave with one atom of thought. That I don't know what you're doing. Luke, you need to stop. I don't want to take advantage of a really sad guy who's in a lot of pain who thinks he's taking advantage of us. I'm... I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> you don't know what pain is. You... You're so self-righteous. No one has well, yeah, ever it, for sure. But you think you're above it. I've seen what real loss looks like, children. What, what letting down your friends looks like. And I'm seeing it again right now. You two could have... Could have gotten out of here, gone back home. And instead, you're just throwing it away for a stranger. It's this is for more than just you. You have people that depend on you, that care about you. They care this about their appearance of caring. Intervention well, for I don't Satan. think that's true. This I don't this doesn't feel right. I don't care what you say. Your friends back in hell are right. We're not doing this. Well, like I said. People always think they're special, but that's, that's God lying to you. My dad was a guy who found a beach and started making sandcastles. He's the only real lucky one. We're all lucky. Lucky to be here. It's special to be here, to be anywhere it is. You're lucky to have people who want the best for you. I'm... I'm... No, he's he's like 16 feet tall. It's Satan, you know. Wait, never mind. The you piece of shit. You know how scared we all were. 
You, you, you can't just leave and not... I know. You... Wait. You know. Milo and Lola forfeited. What? Why? Ask them. They can speak for themselves. Why? Why did we do this? Because hell needs its Satan back. And he should see what sacrifice means. Guys, yeah, we hell all, needs we Satan. Yeah, we all want to drink our faces off and forget our problems and not be responsible, but... But if we drank each other into oblivion, nothing would really work, would it? So... So we're not going to do the contest. We're staying in hell where we belong. Luke? I, uh... I, uh... It's okay, Morningstar. It is. It's... It's going to be. We converted Sam's old church into a... a, a facility. And they're ready to take you right now. Not that there was that much to convert. It was more like set dressing Toronto to look like New York. Uh, I'll go for the night. Okay, for the night. We'll take it. Stay in hell, though? I kind of kind of did everybody a solid. I think they could, you know, just give me a ticket out of hell. Yeah, the least they could do. Because that was kind of the final rung. I don't know. Final push Satan needed to get better, so thinking, I don't know, maybe throwing us a bone. Get out of hell, that'd be appreciated. This took a lot of, you know, fortitude. Not just, you know, take the easy way out and use the dude's weaknesses to get out of hell, but we're all different that way, I guess. Three months. Three months. <laughs> and the, the fucking, the guy, he just sits there. And he's talking to me like, I don't know, you don't go down 7th past 6th without an umbrella. And Sam and I look at each other like, and I finally, I just say, No block party is worth getting donkey urine rained on you, dude. Fucking amen. <laughs> right? Like, these flyers are pretty cool, but, uh, sorry. Hey guys. Hey Phil. You still owe me that money. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, I'm, I am kidding you a little. This is like the fourth time in a week we've met here. <laughs> But I like the ambiance. It's a chain, and that new pad thai open just down the block. No, I was already there with Nostradamus. It's worse than the old place. Hey, Lola, what can I get you? Mmm, whatever Milo's having. You sure? Don't want a menu. <laughs> we added some stuff. Oh my god, Lola, get your own damn drink, seriously. All right, all right. Uh, whiskey sour. Hold the witchcraft. Hey, yo, or dog. How's it going? Fine, fine. Milo, how's it going? I'm good. Hi, guys. I don't know if you heard, but Satan fell off the wagon. Well, you know, it can be hard keeping it up. Just gotta have patience. Give him, uh, you know, whatever he needs. Anyway, Beelzebub's gonna have a talk with him. I don't know, I'm optimistic. He has a support system now. I mean, I know people can be flakes, but I think he wants it to work, and everybody wants it to work. People have been telling me that things have been, like, generally better since he's been working again. More thematically relevant tortures, longer vacation time, less bees in the cereal. Well, that's good. Makes me happy to hear. And then they bang. I have a weird loading search. Hey, Father Van Dyke, can we get some shots here? Okay, Lola, what the fuck is going on? Sang Milo Bong. You are really, you're really too much, you know that? Uh, <laughs> why? Oh no, spilled it. She wanted me, she wanted us to be the ones to tell you. You got the damn job. What? You're gonna be the first human event planner for Skull. Congratulations. I can't believe this. That's, this is amazing. I know, right? It's crazy. I mean, we lived for a relatively short amount of time, but I really feel like we're hitting our stride here. Like, if friends are your home, then, you know, this, th it's definitely probably not our home, but at least the weird garage we hang in down the street. Ain't that the truth, brother? To Milo. No! To Lola and Milo. Hip, hip! Fuck. Milo! Lola! I found another loophole. Not, uh, not at all like the last. So this, this one is totally, it's totally different. It's completely unique and fun in its own new way with divergent, di di diverse uh, things to do now. And, uh, and um, well, it's, 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 it's a little more expensive looking with like, um, you know, you can uh, run now and maybe jump. Well, <laughs> we're, not, we're not sure yet. You, you could probably do like, a, you could probably walk around with like a, with a, with a thermos now or something. 
Anyways, uh, you only have tonight to do it, so you interested? Yeah, of course this place fucking sucks. <laughs> After party two. Well, yeah, that was that was awesome. I dug it quite a bit. Um, Paul Pants. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was a fun time. I liked it a lot. I I do stand by my thought that it's not so much a game as like an interactive choose your own adventure, but it was fun. It was fun and cool. Um, wondering if they do make that sequel, if it's going to be the same kind of game, or are they going to kind of expand it out to more gameplay and more adventure gamey stuff? But this is uh, this is cool. Um, Oh, yeah, I'm not saying they're not fun. It's just, like, I think there's kind of something inferred by game. Maybe this is a whole other argument. Or not argument, but, like, point. But when you say video game, like, there's there's implication of stakes and competition. Whereas this was, like, I felt like it didn't really matter what I did, it was still going to go forward. Like, playing other games, like Biting of Isaac, which I think I'm going to throw on after this, which may be at my own uh, detriment. You you have, it's, it's competitive and then you have kind of stakes and you have to do something. And you have the possibility of failure a lot. So the idea that this is a game, it's like, well, it's not really a game. It's more of like a story you just have to interact with to make it go forward. But that doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, it's very clever. Very, uh... It's a very, uh, very fun, very funny. I think it has more emotional weight than humor, because, uh, there's not many, uh, jokes I think I'll remember, but I'll remember the story, and the themes, and the, uh, creative points. Um, but, you know, I, I dug it. I have a feeling the music was too loud. And you're right, game does cover a, wide, a variety of types, but I don't know. And I'm definitely not saying it's bad. Just, uh... And also, I, I it has replay value because I'm wondering what kind of other experience I could have playing a different way. Because there's so many different drinks and different ways to respond. But does that actually change the way the game works at all? Does that really change the way that the story progresses in any way? Kind of imagine if I were to start it again, it would be kind of disappointing if I have different responses and different moves and then the ending doesn't really change that much. There's a couple different endings. So, I mean, the same... If you really have that curiosity, you could probably just YouTube the different endings. So yeah, I don't, I don't think a lot of... Uh, um, there's not a lot of uh, replayability, but it's not bad. I enjoyed the music, I enjoyed the dialogue. Uh, I think there might have been some weird sound issues with the dialogue. Uh, so, but that could just be my copy of it downloaded, I'm not sure. But it was, uh, it was fun. I dug it a lot, and I, I enjoyed the humor, and I enjoyed the characters. It did seem, according to the Before I Play, which Ben made, said like they wanted to make like an R-rated Pixar movie, and it felt like it. It honestly felt like super bad if they went to hell. Is there a post credit scene? Is there a post credit scene? No. I thought we were gonna see... I thought we were gonna see uh, Nick Fury, and we did not. We did not see Nick Fury. And they uh, put a little teaser for a possible sequel. That's really cool of them. Who knows? We could be playing that someday soon. Uh, but that's it for After Party. I'd say it's worth the time to play it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I figure there's like 
based on the dialogue tree there's like a couple thousand different ways to play it but uh you know i'd say play for yourself to come up with your own thoughts and feelings on it don't let me tell you go have your own after party and uh see how it goes anyway i gotta take a break to um switch over to the other game and uh, we'll be back got a couple hours left probably play some biting of isaac and hate myself a little bit even though i'm coming at it with a better attitude and maybe some distance from it will make it a little bit more of a pleasurable experience so i will be right back